students uh, welcome to nuclear physics lecture i'm dr parvez ahmed uh, in this lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, neutrons production so uh, there are many uh, techniques uh, many reactions many kind of reactions at which uh, uh, we can get uh, neutron uh, all these uh, reactions uh, they are being classified uh, are being known as uh, Alpha and these reactions, uh, photo dissociate reactions, uh, uh, neutron fusions, uh, neutron induced uh, fissions, uh, beta delayed neutron emissions, uh, and uh, uh, spallations. So these are all uh, the type of the reactions uh, and during which we can get uh, the neutron. Uh, these are the type of the reactions uh, uh, by which we can get uh, the neutrons. So let's discuss each type of reactions uh, and uh, detail. First, let's talk about alpha induced uh, reactions. So uh, in this kind of reactions, uh, we basically uh, bombard uh, beryllium uh, nine uh, with the alpha particles. So as a result, uh, we get uh, neutrons uh, along with the uh, carbon twelve. Uh, so this this is basically the palm up reaction uh, which is being uh, uh, used or which is being performed for the first time by Chadwick uh, during the uh, discovery uh, of the neutron. So do you remember during this particular kind of reaction, uh, uh, five point six mega electrons worth of energy is being produced. So uh, alpha radiations uh, uh, during these reactions, uh, I mean. Uh, for the bombardment of the beryllium nucleus, uh, the alpha radiations can be provided by uh, the plutonium uh, 238s, americium 241s, or uh, uh, polonium 210s, or radium 226. I mean, these are the uh, these are the type of the nucleus or the element which can provide uh, alpha radiations uh, to be bombarded on the beryllium nucleus for the production of the neutron. The second type of the reactions, uh, I mean, which the uh, alpha induced reaction is uh, uh, boron 11. Uh, when you bombard boron 11, so as a result, we get a neutrons along with the nitrogen 14 plus uh, 0.158 mega electrons worth of energy. I mean, during these reactions, uh, uh, we can also get uh, the neutrons. Uh, along with that, we get a continuous uh, spectrum, uh, continuous spectrums of the neutrons. And photo dissociations, uh, what we do basically in photo dissociations, uh, we had uh, uh, we shine the beryllium 9 nucleus uh, with the gamma radiations. Uh, so, as a result of that radiation, uh, a beryllium nucleus with the gamma radiations, we get a neutrons uh, along with that. Uh, we get two alpha particles uh, plus uh, uh, 1.66 mega electron watts of energy. So, be remember here. Uh, uh, in these particulars, uh, uh, in these particular uh, reactions, uh, gamma radiation can be provided by antimony. I mean, uh, uh, we have to shine the gamma radiation and beryllium nucleus. Uh, but uh, the question is that from where we can get the uh, gamma radiations? So be remember that the gamma radiations uh, can be uh, provided by antimony. The second reaction uh, for the photo dissociation is uh, that uh, we can get it from uh, the beta decay of antimony 124. That is uh, antimony 24, 124. Uh, I mean, during beta decay is transferred to uh, tellurium uh, by the emissions of beta negative. Along with that, that uh, we get what uh, we get gamma irradiation. Uh, I mean, uh, this 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 is the, the process for the production of the gamma radiations. I mean, the, the, this uh, the, this process, the beta decay of antimony, uh, is actually not for the neutron production. It's basically for the uh, gamma production. So what actually we do? Uh, first, we generate uh, gamma irradiations uh, by the beta decay of antimony 124, and then we utilize uh, this gamma radiations. Uh, uh, for the productions of the neutrons from the beryllium nucleus. And we remember that this uh, gamma radiations are the gamma radiation which being produced during the beta decay of antimony is nearly uh, mono, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the neutrons which being produced uh, as a result of this reaction is nearly mono, 
uh, uh, monoenergetic neutrons. Uh, there uh, we also have portable neutron sources. So portable neutron sources include uh, uh, alpha sources from emerciums and from uh, uh, plutoniums mixed with beryllium's and a plastic moderate. Uh, uh, the fast neutrons are uh, californium 252. Uh, I mean, uh, with the spontaneous uh, fission. So this is a sort of the uh, portable. Uh, uh, neutrons uh, sources, but we remember th this kind of sources uh, they normally needs a uh, required shielding. Uh, along with that, uh, we can get, uh, I mean, uh, as a portable source, so we can utilize uh, cadmiums or uh, gadolium, uh, gadolium. Uh, but uh, we remember that this kind of uh, sources they can also produce uh, X rays. So this is uh, one might consider it as a drawback by utilizing cadmium or gadolinium uh, as a portable sources of the neutrons. Uh, along with that, we can utilize a uh, boron and a uh, lithium as well as a portable uh, neutron source. Uh, uh, boron uh, or lithium is produce alpha radiations. Uh, that is uh, lithium. Uh, which can lead to lithium and lithium then uh, goes to a lithium then uh, produce a, a protium a nucleus But uh, just like uh, uh, the alpha source uh, I mean just like this one uh, This kind of reaction is also uh, requires uh, shielding uh, I mean to in order to be performed in a protective environment uh, deuteron fissions, uh, we can also get uh, uh, the neutrons uh, uh, during the de uh, deuteron fissions, uh, uh, deuteron fusion. So what actually we do, uh, we fuse uh, two uh, nuclei, two nuclei of the uh, uh, deuteriums. Uh, so uh, what actually we do, uh, when you fuse these two uh, uh, deuterium nucleus and to a helium T nucleus, so along with that, uh, we can also get uh, the neutron. And you already know about uh, the fusions and how we fuse the nuclei. Uh, this is one kind of reaction when uh, when we do deuterium uh, when we fuse our uh, two deuterium nuclei. We can also uh, get the neutrons uh, during the the fusions of uh, deuteriums and tritiums and to helium four. Uh, so this is also a kind of uh, I mean a fusions. Uh, uh, which is normally performed for uh, getting a neutron. So just like you can see it here in this particular fusions, uh, uh, we fuse uh, tritium and deuteriums, uh, and as a result, we get we get neutrons uh, plus alpha particles or uh, helium four. Uh, along with that, we get energy that is equal to seventeen point six mega electron uh, volt. This is the energy we get. Similarly, we can get uh, the neutrons from uh, a natural fusion and star that is uh, we got a fusion of carbon 30s and the alpha particles uh, so as a result we get uh, uh, oxygen uh, 16s uh, and the neutron so this is how we can get a neutron uh, during a fusion we can also get a neutron uh, during end use fusions uh, just like uh, if you remember uh, uh, when we were discussing the fusion reactions uh, and uh, some of the previous lectures, and what actually we do, uh, we normally bombard neutrons and uranium nucleus. So as a result of that, we get first of all we get an excited nucleus, and that excited nucleus then uh, goes for fission. I mean, it's, it's split into two daughter nuclei with a huge amount of energy along with that it get uh, I mean uh, some of the fast neutron so there are different fusion fragments but in all ways in all of the fragments all of the fusion reactions uh, we get the neutrons I mean neutrons is one of the necessary products uh, one of the compulsive product that we receive uh, 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 which we receive uh, during the uh, during the fissions of uranium 235 so uh, there are basically 50 ways, uh, I mean, uh, uh, possibles. Uh, that is, uh, we can get 300 isotopes of 35 elements. I mean, so we can get a fission. Uh, we can get the fission of uranium-235. 
So uh, the patients, uh, I mean, so the number of ways uh, by which we can perform patient reactions more are uh, less equal to uh, 50. And uh, during the patients, I mean, we can get the isotope, we can get the uh, radioactive isotope. So these isotopes, I mean, normally uh, uh, you're saying that uh, barium are krapton, but not necessary. Uh, that always we should have the barium or krapton. I mean, we can get uh, almost almost as many as uh, 300 isotopes of 35 elements. I mean, these are the possibility of the uh, of the number of uh, number of isotopes uh, that we can get uh, during the uh, the neutron and the use patients. But we remember, in each patients we can get an average 2.5 uh, neutron. Uh, so this is why patients are neutron and these patients uh, can be considered one of an important source for the uh, productions of the uh, neutrons. Uh, and uh, just like we discussed, uh, uh, I mean, in the previous lecture, during each patients we get uh, about 200 mega electron volt of energy, and along with that we get an average 2.5 neutron. So it's the compulsory product. Energy plus the neutron along with the darker uh, nuclei. And uh, you remember, uh, normally we can get also uh, the neutrons from the uh, fission reaction that we perform in the nuclear reactors, which we call the fission chain reactions. So, uh, what actually we do in the uh, fission chain reaction that we normally perform in the uh, nuclear reactors. We basically utilize thermal neutron for the fission of uh, uranium-235. Uh, so what actually we get, uh, we get as a product. I mean, uh, with the uh, with the darker nuclei, uh, or with the fission product, uh, with the fission product and energy, we also get uh, an average uh, uh, equal to uh, two mega electron watt uh, neutron. I mean, uh, this is the number of the neutrons. Uh, average number of neutron that we get uh, new, uh, during the uh, during the fission reactions uh, which we perform in the nuclear reactors uh, it's the average number so uh, fission neutrons uh, we remember uh, when neutron is being produced during the fissions so these uh, fission neutrons uh, they move uh, at a speed uh, which is uh, approximately seven times uh, the speed of the light. I mean, this is how fast the neutrons, I mean, move uh, when they are produced uh, during the fission reactions. Uh, then what actually we do, uh, we use different moderator to moderate uh, these neutrons. I mean, by moderated neutron, we mean the thermal neutrons. And these thermal neutrons, they move at a speed, uh, which is approximately eight times uh, the speed of the sound. Uh, we can also uh, produce the neutrons uh, during uh, uh, beta delayed neutron emission. So, what is uh, basically means by uh, beta delayed uh, neutron emission? Uh, so, you know that uh, during uh, the fission reactions, when we have fission product or fission data nuclei, uh, so what actually uh, what, what actually happened after getting the a darker nuclei that is barium and a krapton. So, uh, uh, what actually happened after that? Uh, we have the kraptons, we have the barium, and bariums, uh, I mean, it's the, then it converted into kraptons uh, 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 that is excited krapton nucleus, uh, which uh, undergoes uh, what which undergoes uh, beta decay. I mean, uh, when we get barium. Uh, and uh, sorry, uh, uh, this particular nucleus. So uh, I mean, uh, this is what this uh, uh, this undergo uh, undergoes uh, beta negative decay. And during this beta negative decay, we get krapton uh, in the excited state. So krapton then de excited by the emission of the neutron and 1.3 megawatt mega electrons uh, watt of the energy. So, a uh, fission project may emit a neutrons. Uh, so, what happened basically? Uh, delayed, uh, delayed here, uh, when we are utilizing the term delayed, uh, so delayed means not from. 
not for means that is uh, any time so from a few milliseconds to a few minutes after uh, the patient's events i mean by prompt we mean that which is uh, i mean emitted exactly when the nuclear reaction happened but by the delayed we mean that any time from a few milliseconds to a few minutes after the patient's uh, events occur so this is the difference between the prompt and um, the delayed neutron uh, the half life of beta decay is much longer than the nuclear uh, level of the uh, emitter. This means that it goes to, uh, I mean, uh, when we are talking about the uh, uh, beta delays, uh, so it means that uh, we are doing it at a controllable uh, reactors. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, plutonium has a uh, low percentage of the delayed neutrons. Uh, which uh, I mean, uh, uh, normally uh, is performed in uh, reactors uh, controls. Uh, I mean, uh, just because of that, react reactor controls uh, would be uh, challenging. Uh, another process for the neutron generation is the uh, spallation uh, spallation source. Uh, so what actually we do in the uh, uh, spallation reaction, just like you can see it here. Uh, in this particular uh, diagrams, uh, I mean, it's the process, the spallation process is being shown uh, uh, in this particular diagram. Uh, so what actually we do, uh, we utilize a high energy hadron. I mean, a hadron, we, we can uh, hear, uh, it means uh, it might be a neutron, it might be a proton. Uh, so we utilize a high energy hadrons, and this high energy, uh, I mean, high energy hadron, First of all, it's causing an intra uh, nuclear cascade, just like you can see it here. I mean, we bombard a high energy uh, hadron. How much high energy? It's energy approximately equal to one giga electron war. And this high energy electron, fast moving uh, particles, uh, that is protons, when we had to this target nucleus, uh, so what actually happened? It causing an uh, intra nuclear cascade. On a time scale of 10 raised to power minus 22 seconds. So what happened after that? Uh, so as a result of that reaction, uh, secondary particles, uh, secondary particles uh, which might be uh, neutrons, uh, which might be protons, and by uh, which might be pions, uh, themselves are produced, uh, uh, creating an intra, uh, creating an intra uh, nuclear uh, cascade splashing many individual nuclei into highly excited state, just like you can see it here. I mean, this is uh, the nuclei that's been produced uh, uh, as a result of uh, secondary particles. Uh, I mean, uh, secondary particles, here you can see that secondary particles that are being emitted. Uh, so they themselves produce secondaries, uh, creating an antron nuclear uh, cascade Placing many individual nuclei into a highly excited states. I mean, this is the highly excited, uh, that highly excited uh, state and cascade particles, that is the uh, anti nuclear cascade. This is the intra nuclear cascade, uh, which lead to, uh, I mean, uh, here we have the cascade particles, and that cascade particle that causes uh, anti nuclear cascade. So that is, that's what we mean in this particular point. That is, we have secondary particles, uh, which themselves produces secondaries, uh, creating an enter uh, nuclear uh, cascade. This is the enter nuclear cascade, placing many individual nuclei into highly excited state, uh, which is this particular situation. So what happened after that? Uh, I mean, it releases energy by evaporating uh, neutrons, protons, deuterium, uh, tritium, alpha particle in gamma rays and uh, in uh, time scale uh, which is approximately equal to 10 raised to the power minus 18 to 10 raised to the power minus uh, 16 seconds so this is how uh, we get uh, the neutrons uh, by spallation source so this is all we have for uh, the production or generation of the neutrons uh, during uh, different reactions